Hello and welcome to the third devlog of this series. Today I'll be showing you all the new content I created for my horror game The Black Tale Stories, which you can wishlist on Steam right now. In the time since the last video, I decided to change a lot of things. First of all, I've decided to extend the playtime and length of the game from an estimated 15 to 30, 45 minutes to hopefully now over one hour. How am I going to achieve this, you may ask? Well, by adding three new sections to the main game, each with different puzzles, objectives and AI enemies who will try to hunt you down and devour that sweet little ass of yours. So I started by working on the first section of the game, the warped hallways. For this section I quickly created an AI that always follows the player as long as the player is in the AI's walkable area and is not looking at the AI. To make things also a bit spookier, I made it so the AI's head will always follow the player to look at them, which is quite unnerving. I also made it so that once the AI freezes or stops moving, it pauses the walking animation of the AI in the last frame it was in before stopping. After that was done, I duplicated this AI, modified it a tiny bit and made a second variant which only stops moving when the lights are not on, which is for a different part of the first section. I then worked on the small fuse objective where you have to find fuses and insert them into the fuse box. Then then flip a lever, which only makes things worse. Then you have to find these boxes, flip their levers, return to the fuse box once you flipped all the box levers, and then you flip this lever again and boom, you finish this objective. It's not that hard. While doing this, I also finished the first section, or at least the map part for it, and created a small clock puzzle you will have to solve before entering the section. But we still have one big issue, which is for the second section, the player gets a bit hurt and their camera gets cracked so I bought this overlay pack and got these amazing dirt masks which made the game look really fucking dope. I then moved on to the AI for the second section where you will have to hide from it and after a bit of tinkering and setting things up you can now hide in closets which will enable your microphone and the AI will search through closets and if you make a loud noise it will hear you and kill you. I then started working on the cutscene for the section where the player gets up and so far I I have made this, which I like quite a lot. Mmm, by the way, your flashlight also gets broken in the process. So have fun. Oh yeah, I also remade the entire ending part of the game, which now looks like this. Here's a small list of other things I've done and changed in the last month or so. To finish this all up, here's a small sneak peek of the introduction to the game, but take into consideration that all of this is still work in progress and prone to change, and stuff like the videos you will see are just placeholders and are not going to be there in the final product. Again, they're just placeholders. Time to go over those old newspaper articles I found yesterday. Hopefully I can find some actual useful information about <laughs> anything at this point. Don't you hear that scary? Can't you hear that scary? 
Hello, Ravens Hollow. I'm your host, Andras, and welcome to Dark Wave FM, your trusted and beloved radio station, always there for you in times of need. Have you all heard the story of the witch who used to live inside the abandoned house in the forest? You haven't? Well, rumors say that a long, long time ago, a woman who was a witch used to live inside that house. They say she kidnapped children from their beds at night, dragging them through the forest and to her house, where she then took them down into her basement and cut them apart bit by bit, until there was nothing left. She did all of this to trap their agony and pain inside small trinkets and objects, turning them into charms. But here comes the kicker. They say that if you go into the house, down into the basement, and manage to bring back any item from there, the charm will allow you to wish for one thing and it will come true for sure. However, sadly, due to this rumor, a few years ago a young boy called Timmy Meyer went missing while he and his friends went into the forest to visit the house and get such charms. Truly a tragedy. But well, that is all for me today, folks. I will come on again later, but for now, enjoy the rest of your evenings. Goodbye. Man, that guy gives me the creeps. What the hell? What the actual fuck was that? Am I still dreaming or what? But yeah, that is all I will show for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and if you're interested in the game, make sure to go on Steam and wishlist it. But until next time, goodbye.